Hello world, Shelly here, and it's time for another episode of Concealer Fest, and today I am checking out a lab access release from Ritual Day Fee. This is their, oh, let me get the name right, the Ultra High Coverage Plush Wear Creator Concealer. Now, their lab access releases are an opportunity to buy, not in its final packaging, but a preview release of a potential new product where you get to buy it at a discount and then at the you'll be provided a survey to give your experience and your thoughts and feedback on the formula. So I paid $20 for this. It's a suggested retail of $36. They had... 4, 8, 12, 16, 24 shades in the preview. I got this in shade Potion 120, which is the fifth lightest shade. This is described as a concealer unlike any you have tried before. We're going to find out because I've tried a lot of concealers. The Creator Concealer creates your best ever skin in an ultra pigmented formula that merges incredible coverage, conscious ingredients, creamy yet controlled application, seamless blending, and a radiant second skin finish. This is a new generation of Ritual Day Fee complexion, and we want your experienced insight to ensure we are achieving pure perfection or true perfection while well, misreading. Hey, same thing. Good for covering dark circles, hyperpigmentation, redness, melasma, blemishes, radiant second skin finish, gentle hydration, lightweight wear, smooths and diffuses, self-setting, blends seamlessly, doe foot. So, yeah, we're going to check this one out now. If you missed the launch, the, the lab creator launch, uh, right now it looks like the only shades that they have remaining are the deepest shades, but my hope is that this will become available if it's any good, and then I could say I had it first. Now, I want to tell you, I reviewed, oh, bad, bad YouTuber putting the doggone phone on silent. Uh, I have the sample of their original, their cream concealer, and let me tell you, I've used this Oh my gosh, three or four days a week at least since I got this sample, which has now been probably a month at least, and I still have some left in here. So if you are debating getting the sample, now their foundation sample was enough for me to get multiple uses out of, like three or four full faces out of, but this concealer I've been wearing for weeks now in the sample size. So thank you, Ritual Day Fee, for providing samples that are large enough to really know if you're going to want to buy this product. You know what I'm saying? And that to me says they are confident in their products. I love that they're incorporating user feedback in their process. This, this was not something that I was able to get because I'm a YouTuber. This is available to the public. They, if you join their newsletter, you, you got an email and it said, you know, hey, we're launching this lab access and, and yada, 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 the whole process. Uh, so yeah, anybody could have gotten this. I had posted it over on my Patreon the day that they launched it, hoping that some of you would grab it too and we could try it out together. But uh, yeah, so uh, let's take a look at shade Potion 120, swatched against a few others in my collection. Swatch time! First up is today's concealer from Ritual Day Fee. This is the lab release of the Creator Concealer in shade Potion 120. Second I've got from NARS, the Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. Third up is the House Labs Concealer in 12 Light Rosy. And last, I've got from Natasha Denona, the High Glam Concealer in shade N4. All right, let's check this out. I've been playing the game. Is that foundation in my sideburns or just more gray hair? <sighs> Today, it's more gray hair. All right, Sana, they do say don't judge it for the packaging or the doe foot right now, so this is probably just a generic doe foot for its purposes here. Uh, let's, ooh, the shade looks good for me. Let's check this out. I will use a damp sponge on one side. Let's see here. You know, whatever happened to my tiny little concealer sponges? I don't even know where they went. I think I should buy more. I really liked those. That blended out super easily, like no work whatsoever. 
and it did not all soak into the sponge even though I'm gonna throw this sponge away there's just it's an elf sponge and I love the size of it and the plushness of it but it's got some weird stains that I can't wash out and I'm a little nervous that they're like I don't know mold or something uh, yeah there's some there's some coverage happening here for sure I wouldn't call it full coverage with the sponge I would say it's a nice medium ironically very appropriate finish to go along with the foundation I'm filming this the same day as I'm filming the about face foundation that I picked up from Ulta so stay tuned for that let's try the brush side and see what we've got happening. This is the BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy, the A506. I'm guessing this is probably supposed to be like a highlight brush or something. I'm not even sure, but I love it for concealer. I've mentioned this before. It's a little bit less dense than a typical concealer brush, but it has that angled shape to it that makes it really easy to get into the corners of your eyes. But because it's less dense, I can get up here and do a soft blend closer to my lash line, whereas those denser brushes are just stabby. <laughs> and I don't like to run them that close to my lash line. So yeah, hey Ziva, how's it going? What's new with you, baby? What's new with you? Yeah, definitely more coverage with the brush. I'm just gonna get one little dab well, let's go two little dabs in this darkest part of my eye here, and let's even it out just a little bit with the other side. But see how, since it's not super dense, you can like fluffy blend it, and I feel like that's just way more comfortable in my eye area, and it lets me get closer to the lash line, like I said. I'm gonna take a little concealer over here. I got Polly's ashes back, my cat that recently passed, and, uh, uh, I was crying yesterday. Whew. Yeah, we're all we're all okay though. We're all okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Rest in peace, Polly. Good, pretty girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely like the brush on this one, cause I got enough purple that I need <laughs> the coverage. Oh, let's just even things out and pull this over onto my eye. I usually don't bring my concealer onto my lids because concealers, no matter what, always crease on my lids. I know some people can use it as primer, but I cannot. That's, that's why I always stick with my MAC Paint Pot. All right. Mm. This is nice and smooth. It is really good coverage. It is... Not quite the spandex thing that is just like snatching those lower under crepey lines. However, very smooth, very like, I can probably only see like, I don't know, 20% of my actual lines. That's a lot of, that's pretty smoothing. That's, that, that's pretty smoothing. I haven't, I haven't described a concealer as smoothing in a while, and <sighs> let me zoom again. Let me zoom in so you can see what's happening here. Now, I made the mistake of taking my concealer brush and messing with my foundation. I should not have done that. So the, let's just, let's just focus on the concealer. Don't, don't look at what I messed up on my foundation. The concealer itself is, I would say, very nicely smoothing. It, we'll see if it moves around or if it, it freezes any lines in place, but I can see far fewer of my lines than I normally can, which to me says it's pretty nicely smoothing. The shade looks good. It is currently not settling into lines. It doesn't seem to be moving around. We'll see how that goes. Blended fine, and the coverage applied really nicely with, I would say it was like, if I had put just a little more product on, it would have been just one coat because I only went back to do that little dab in the inner corner of my eye on the brush side. So stick with the brush if you're going for coverage would be my recommendation. And uh, yeah, I think this one is looking good right out of the gate. Let's check the time. It is 12.18. Let me go put the rest of my face on. I will be right back. All right, Ziva. You're so good. 
You're going baby. You're going baby. Back with the Ritual Day Fee concealer, the creator concealer, and I have a tip for you. So it is self-setting as they claimed, and it set down nicely. And when it set down, I could see where it had frozen a little bit of my lines in place. Now, I try this trick with every concealer that does this, and I've actually never seen it work very well, but in this case, it really did. And I have a feeling it has to do with the fact that it, it's a plush formula, like the way the pigments, how do I describe it? Like the way they brush up against each other. So when it sort of dried down like that, I take my, this is my Angie Hot and Flashy, it's the A506 uh, brush from BK Beauty. And since it's not super dense, the same brush I use to apply it, since it's a little bit fluffy, you can fluff with it. You know what I mean. And so I just took it super lightly under my eyes and blurred out the dried down concealer and it totally smoothed out and sort of pushed those pigments smooth against each other and it has stayed put beautifully and it's very nicely smooth. So if you, if you have that situation happen, if you don't have a concealer brush that is fluffy like this, then use any clean fluffy brush that doesn't have any eyeshadow on it. Just take one of your fluffy, less dense eyeshadow brushes and barely touch the skin like barely 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 touch the skin and just fluff that out and it worked really well it's really pretty <laughs> I need a haircut so bad I don't have an appointment for another two weeks and I think I'm gonna have to move it up because my bangs are too long uh yes but I filmed the eye look here uh, you will see this one next week in my Ipsy unboxing. It is the Shades by Shan Life of the Party little mini palette. Gorgeous, slightly unusual undertones to this one. And I love, love it. Beauteous. So yeah, I'm going to go about my day and wear this all day. And then I will come back tonight and we'll see how it wore. 10.23 p.m. That puts us at about 10 and a half hours, just about. Let's take a look at how the Ritual Day Fee Creator Concealer, the Lab Access Release, held up. Super comfortable, no issues with hydration or dryness or creepy under eyes, anything like that going on. I actually think that within like an hour or so of applying it, it looked better than it did when I first applied it. I don't know if it just kind of warmed and settled with my skin, my body chemistry. I don't really know, but I do think that it looks even more settled and smooth and natural now, even hours later. So it just took took a little minute to warm up to me, even though I liked it right off the bat. Anyway, let me zoom you guys in so you can see what I am looking at. It did not settle into lines, it did not move around, it did not cake up. I do feel like the coverage has faded just a little bit and that is, you know, not unusual at, you know, the 10 plus hour point of the day, but I think it looks just as smooth as it did, minus a bit of the coverage. I really do like the smoothing of this. You know, I always talk about the whole spandex look and the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer is like the concealer that basically was like putting spanks on your under eye. That's how Wayne Goss described it once. And that's, and my, my was, when he said that it like, I had described it as spandex for your under eye and then he called it Spanx and I'm like, yeah, it's see, that's exactly like, that's what it is. And I don't know if that one's been discontinued. It was disappearing for a while and then it was back. And then I, I don't know. I would just have to look. I do have a full, Ziva, please stop scratching my chair. I do have a full tube of it that I got when I was afraid that it was going discontinued. Uh, so it's not quite that. I have yet to find something that is as smoothing as that on me. But this one's really, really good as far as smoothing goes. It is way up there for the smoothing properties. It has really nice coverage. I would say the only downside I've got going right now is that 
It looked a little bit heavy to start out, but I think it, it came together in the end and melded with my skin and looked really nice. So if I had to give a grade to the Ritual Day Fee creator, now we don't know if this is gonna be the final formula and we don't even know if this is going to become the actual product that they sell. We will find out, but I'm gonna give them all this feedback when they send me the little survey. And if you guys did this as well, you purchased the Lab Access version, let me know in the comments and let me know what you think of it because I'm very curious. Uh, yeah, I just totally stopped in the middle of my giving of the grade. I'd give it an A. I'd totally give it an A. I like it. It's beautiful. I love the coverage. I like the finish. I prefer a more satin finish versus a matte finish for my concealer. And this does the trick. And it's lovely. Bravo. I hope you turn this into a real full-time product, Ritual Day Fee, please and thank you. <laughs> I will buy it. I will buy it. I would really like it to become a product because although I do love the cream concealer, I way prefer a doe foot applicator for my concealer. So I would love it if this became real. There you have it. Another episode of Concealer Fest is in the books. If you like concealer reviews, if you had fun with this one, please give me a thumbs up down below. Let me know in the comments. What would you like to see next? What should I buy? I keep a running list. I buy stuff whenever I can. And the more requests I get for certain things, those are the ones I prioritize for purchase. So let me know what I should pick up next. Hit me up over on Patreon. You can also follow me on all the socials. I am mainly on TikTok, Instagram. I'm also on Facebook. Yeah, that's, that's about it for the socials. So follow me in all the places. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.